everyone. I'm Marta Riggins. I'm the Global Brand Marketing Director for LinkedIn Talent Solutions. I lead a team that thinks about how to uplift and inspire people who think about talent in their organizations. And one of the things that we do is we program Talent Connect. And with me right now is Leah Fusky, founder of TaskRabbit. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. I have to tell you, and I think I told you this before, that I am a huge TaskRabbit user and just the fact that being a working mom it has saved my life. So thank you so much. I'm so glad to hear that. That yeah. makes me so happy. Yeah, so I've been kicking off these interviews with an icebreaker question. Okay. Because that's, I just think it's important to get to know each other. So what were your career aspirations as a kid? What did you want to be when you grew up? I either wanted to be a ballerina or an astronaut and I could never decide. So I ended up at a liberal arts women's college studying math, computer science, and dance. You know, where they all come together yeah, as absolutely. well. absolutely. As well. I wanted to be a ballerina as well, but in, I'm a short girl, so <laughs> it, was, it wasn't in the cards I me. understand. Yeah. <laughs> um, what inspired you to create TaskRabbit? How did it get started? Yeah, so um, my background is engineering, and I was working at IBM at the time. But uh, my husband and I were sitting at home one night. This is February of 2008. It was cold and snowing outside. We were living in Boston at the time. And we realized we were out of dog food. And we thought there's got to be a way to get this dog food. The iPhone had just come out uh, four months earlier. There was no app store. But I had one of the very first iPhones. And I thought, I should be able to use this device to connect with someone. Maybe there's someone at the store at this very second. I should be able to hire them. And that's really where it all started. Four months later, I quit my job at IBM and built the first version of the site. Wow, that's amazing. And you're right, like people needed a lot of things. It helped so much. Um, so when you founded TaskRabbit, what was your first win that made you confident that you were doing the right thing, this was the right path mm. for you? Very early on, uh, we were only live in two markets. We're live in 44 markets now across the US, London, first international market. but. Still very small. We're only live in two markets. Um, and I wasn't always sure if we were going to win in the space, but after this story, I always knew we'd be successful. And there was this mom in San Francisco. She had a 20-year-old son living in Boston. And unfortunately, her son was going through chemotherapy treatment at Mass General Hospital, mm -hmm. and she couldn't fly out there to be with him in person. So she found a tasker to go visit her son every day in the hospital for a week, bring him a healthy meal, a cozy blanket, sit with him for 30 minutes every day and call her afterwards and give her the update. And the tasker that picked up this job in Boston was actually another mom. And so the bond that these two wow. moms formed across the country was incredible. And I knew at that moment that what we were building was gonna be incredibly important. Wow, that's amazing. I'm sure you have so many incredible stories like that that I would love to just talk about more, but we only have a few minutes, so I'll keep going, but we will have to talk later. Yes. Um, so we are currently experiencing the rise of the gig economy, and I'm curious, why do you think there's a shift in people wanting to be contract workers versus full-time employees? Well, you know, we surveyed, we have over 60,000 taskers that are part of our platform. We surveyed them and we asked them, what is the most important thing to you? Is it making money? Is it re-entry to the workforce? Is it networking and meeting other people? By far, overwhelmingly, 60% of the respondents said the number one priority is flexibility. Mm. And I think flexibility is what is really driving this conversation around the future of work. I don't necessarily think that that means that uh, we should force employees to choose between being W-2 or 1099, but finding ways to incorporate flexibility into a modern workforce I think is gonna be really important. Yeah, definitely a competitive advantage for a company. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, what is your favorite interview question to ask candidates? Oh, um, that I'm hiring? Yeah, when you're hiring, what's your favorite? I, I think everyone has a go-to question. Yeah. I'm wondering what yours what is. What drives you? Ooh, that's yeah. a good question. And just let it settle. Because I think that a lot of times when you're asked that question, you have this instinct to respond quickly and you're like, oh, what drives me? Like impact or making money or whatever it is. But if you really sit with that question for like a good 60 seconds and think about it, um, you can learn a lot about someone. So is part of it also how someone reacts? Absolutely, yeah. And you know, at a small startup like TaskRabbit, we're always looking for people that have a really entrepreneurial mindset, that are able to think on their feet, that are self-motivated, self-determined. And so all of those factors come into play. That's a good one. I'm going to build that into my repertoire. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> um, lastly, how can companies attract top talent in the gig economy? 
Um, so I believe, going back to this point around flexibility, that creating roles and opportunities that enable for a flexible workforce is, more, is really important. It's the number one criteria when women are searching for jobs is how flexible the job can be. It's the number three criteria for millennials. So there's a whole new generation coming up into our workforce that are also looking for flexibility. And so finding new ways, new frameworks, new ways of working, I think is gonna help win the war on talent if you're a company that's able to offer a flexible workforce. Absolutely, as a mom myself, I know that's something I look for when I'm looking for a job. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for joining us in the studio. It's been so great to get to talk to you and get to know you. And thank you all for tuning in. Um, in the All Access Studio. Please join us again soon.